Now, what are what were the drawbacks of the Rutherford's atomic model? <coughs> the first drawback was that at that time there was a classical energy theory. At the time of Rutherford's model, there was a classical energy theory in physics. According to this theory, when a charged particle revolves around another charged particle or another charged species, the former always emits energy continuously. So this one is the charged particle which is revolving around another charged particle. So this charged particle should continuously release <coughs> energy. If it will continuously release energy, what will happen? The distance between the nucleus and electron that will keep on shortening. And there will be a time when this electron will fall in the nucleus and the atom will collapse. So according to this model of the Rutherford, atom is unstable. But this statement or this information is contradic contradictory to the actual fact. And the actual fact is that atoms are highly stable. So this statement or this point that is contradicting with the real fact. That was the first drawback of the or first limitation of the Rutherford's atomic model. <clears throat> now the second was if this electron continuously releases energy then atomic spectrum must be A continuous spectrum. Continuous spectrum just like rainbow. Rainbow is an example of continuous spectrum. So if the electron continuously releases energy, then the atomic spectrum should be continuous spectrum. But we know that atomic spectrum is not continuous spectrum. It is actually the line spectrum. So that was again contradicting contradictory to the actual fact. Now the third drawback. No idea about the distribution of electrons in atom. How the electrons are distributed in atom, this idea was not provided by the Rutherford model. So these three points were the drawbacks or demerits of the Rutherford's model. In order to cover these drawbacks, then a new model was presented by the Neil Bohr. And what was that model? We will discuss it in the next lectures. But keep this thing in your mind that the first model that was plum pudding model and the second model that is nuclear atom. Plum pudding model of JJ Thompson and nuclear atom of the Rutherford. Both these models are without neutrons. The plum pudding model was without nucleus even. And the nuclear atom, this model is having the idea of the nucleus. But inside the nucleus, the idea of the proton is still absent. Because the protons were discovered in 1932. And these models, they were presented in 1904 and 1911. So next time we will discuss the Bohr's atomic model inshallah. Till then, Allah Hafiz.